little hammy, hammy and dolly work and should be good. Come on, sharp. Well, there's a fairly big chunk. Okay. There's my cab mount, oh, my good one. The only thing I was holding on is one fastener to the inner fender. No, God! Look up! There's the other one. Heavily modified. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just effing and fing Jeffing. No, I just worked it out. You're just going to have it like a film with the right size. <laughs> so I thought you were effing and Jeffing like terrible. <laughs> Freak Sackner's over here just effing and Jeffing terrible. Hey? Effing Dodge, Jeffing Dodge. Effing Floor, effing freaking Jeffing fucking. Son of a. Yeah, <laughs> muttering a bunch of bullshit about a fucking Donatus and Kantners and pumpkin truck, terrible. Effing and Jeffing, terrible. Careful, huh? Ooh, ooh, careful, careful. <laughs> ooh. Buddy, careful. That's hot. I could tell. <laughs> Works, eh? Yeah, a bit. You got to get it right away, though. I know. I always forget, and then it's like when you don't have the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there something left to do around this door? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what our issue is. Yeah, we need to get a few more dudes over here, I think. Maybe we'll do a a call out for dudes. Hey, any dudes want to come to Inwood? We got this Dodge. Enough said, hey? Pogwan likes it raw. Pogwan likes it raw. Oh, friggin' right, man. I'm. What do you What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, buddy? We're like Fubercushion Spoojaloos. Big time. Wow, that is decent, but like. Look at the, I best just get you like a good, a good Santas because. Just the extent of it all. Yeah, like, I mean, all up under there, like that's the bottom of the fender and stuff. And that piece that's cut right there is the old cobbled cab mount. But I mean, there's another little piece welded to, I mean, these bottoms of the, of the uh, son of a bitches, no go. Try to get you, get you the other side there and show you the extent, like, you know, at least on the passenger side, there's some sort of a, a resemblance of some sort of a framage of the structure, but over here, just completely gone, like gone. So, and they've welded the friggin' uh, rocker to the fender right there, which is just unacceptable. And I don't even know what kind of material that is if it's plastic or it is metal or if it's like metal with that skin stuff onto it and they just didn't take it off or 
or what, but yeah, it's no good, but that's like the stick theater is supposed to come down and box all in and then the inner welds to that. Well, you can't, you can't weld to that very well. So we're gonna have to uh, cut, you know, that back. I mean, it started, started over there, I think, but uh, you know, there's a little bit, little bit, but we, we can't, we can't just leave all the scabs. Can't, you know, just patch over. Oh, we've got a rocker, so let's, it'd be too hard. So we'd have to quit. Well, you can, but if you want to do it again in six months time. Wow. Well, I mean, I'm sure this lasted years, but yeah. no go. Like this is no go. If we, uh, if we can just spend, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, probably not even just, you know, making things that absolutely fit, but I'll show you some of the, some of the fitment we got. It's, uh, yeah, it's actually. So I just kind of like bevel McSigger to the edges so it's like, you know, when we weld it and grind it, it'll come up flush. And of course the, you know, tried to line up the friggin' uh, Marmadinker as best we could. And again, flanged that edge and tucked it up under there. So when we weld it and grind it, it's just smooth and flat and nobody is the no tonser. And of course that seam will have a rubber onto it and there'll be a seat belt bolted into there. So like, you won't ever even see it, but. I mean, then my good one, right? So, but yeah, that should uh, that should turn out into the splendid. And then down here, where it's all freaking cobbled and stuff, we'll you know replace this whole freaking piece with uh, the new metal dick scissors. Hey, got new metal dick scissors, so he says he can should be able to just bend up that rock here. So, but uh, there'll be 40 inch sections, but it's not a big deal because the originals made of three rockers anywhere. And I'm sure it'd be easier to bend shorters than longers for sure. But, and we're still, you know, we got to piece it in there. We can't just lop the whole thing out and expect to just situate a whole full length friggin' rocker in one shot. I mean, it'd be nice, but I mean, never know with that eight inch inner though, if we can get that in there yeah. and then get the B pillar welded to it, cab mount welded to it yeah but i mean either way you can only do 40 inch or something at a time so yeah, so. but uh right. I'm them you best as i expect stirring to death but uh freaking rights coming along some terrible hey eh? everybody's gonna hate the 83 by the time it's done hey eh? all the mount movies they saw to boot it but uh tough titty said the kitty hey eh? it's my good one but anyways, it's almost how much or something, and then I gotta go to London and pick up some nonsense, of course. Why wouldn't I? But anyways. Mofo Co. No good. Well, anyways, we got a freaking a spoothiel delivery. I know the lighting and the show, I mean, you can see perfectly fine, but freaking, I don't know. We'll see if we can't do any a little bit better, but these are Spence for his frig. About 20 bucks a piece, give or take. But, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll sant this, I guess. Friggin', you know, you, you gotta dislocate the ballast and then just direct wire it in. So I'm assuming, you know, like twist around to the white, twist around to the black. You know, it was, it was a bling bling, but uh, you, you probably have to, you know, one end will be the pistive because you're really, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, only 11 words to find out. Hey, but uh, we'll crack this son bitch open and daunt us what we're synthesizing. Well, I guess that's quite a bit brighter. Holy suffer. I don't know. Hard to tell, but. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Crisper. Yeah, we can like. Yeah, you can sant this. We need to get way up there, though. I can do that one pretty, pretty easy. But the rest of them, ah, ah, scared terrible. So I just, uh, like how it was wired up was uh, one wire was connected to this end, and then they chooched from there to the ballast, and then out this end just to that end. So I just cut the ballast right off it. Cut the ballast wires. Spliced that one into there. You know, one side to one side, one side to the other side. Stove pipe. And then we put our our decknel on there. So is that dicks no? In case they couldn't tell that they're LEDs. 
But, uh, any words? Freaking out my running. Any words, boys? I don't know what happened. Next thing you know, it's tomorrow. So, friggin', uh, yeah, I'm not sure if, uh, that might have had something to do with it. Yeah, there's so much, so much of the dusty fellas in here. But, I mean, the bottoms aren't, aren't as bad as just the tops. But, any words? I'm pretty, pretty happy with, uh, how things are turning out so far it's with the uh, the sheet bell. It's just, you know, it's a time consuming freaking process. Bend a little, check, bend a little, check, bend a little, check. But uh, yeah, we got some serious stretch here to figure out in the front uh, front corners there or whatever, but uh, it's just a matter of cutting and fitting and welding and tacking and bolting if we have to. I don't, I don't know that, uh, that, that rust is pretty deep in, into the into the stovepipe. You end up might might have to get right up in there and cut the whole Marmaduke out and restructure the whole uh, the whole stovepipe. But hopefully not. Holy shit! But uh, I think that's the worst ever, though. I mean, once we uh, get that done, and then we can just start piecing her together, cut the rest of the floor out, replace that. Shouldn't should go uh, should go pretty quick after that. But uh, it's these guys here, eh? These guys here of the fact here. Like, man, that's supposed to be holding up the, the situation. But, uh, anyways, let me know what you think in, uh, in the comments about the metal work and uh, the new shop lighting there. And friggin', uh, don't forget uh, Sunday, so we're doing a live McTooch stovepipe with the uh, Patreonics there. I just, just set it up, so if you got the Google Hangouts, we can, uh, we can participate in a little live interactions. Friggin' uh, only available to the Patreonics. Mucho gracias, cool, terrible. But uh, I'm hoping maybe week week ten days. Week ten days, we should uh, we should have most of this buttoned up there. But uh, anyways, boys, friggin' uh, appreciatory valve wide open in the accordulation. I don't really tickle my fancy if you figure fuck that like button. If you missed him a couple bitches from earlier in the week, but anyways, boys, beg my pardon. We cheat here going out of dick phone, Don't worry. Don't the watchers get you.